This just arrived in the mail a few minutes ago. Uh, this is an LTO 6S, so lithium titanate. It is a starter battery, and I'm just super excited to try this thing out. So here we go. Every once in a while, battery hookup will get in a pallet or two shipment of LTOs, or lithium titanate batteries. Now this particular LTO is arranged 6S, or six cells in series, which is gonna make it a really nice automotive 12 volt battery. The watt hour capacity on this battery is not particularly big, so it's not really well suited for uh, kind of portable power stations or power walls. Now this just arrived, but I'm gonna to try to knock it out tonight so that if there's any left, you have the opportunity to get some. Uh, I don't know, they don't usually stick around very, very long on Battery Hookup's website. And as you can see, it's not a very large package. So let's go ahead and take a measuring tape to this. We have about eight and a quarter inches. We're at seven inches, so eight and a quarter by seven. And standing tall, got three and a quarter. The ones going down in, I'm only guessing, are probably temperature probes. For the sake of getting the video out as quick as possible to give you guys the opportunity to grab some of these, uh, I'm going to uh, leave this intact for now. So the whole pack right now is sitting at 13.64, that's perfect. So one is 2.273, 2.274, oh, one, millime one millivolt off, that's awesome. 2.274, <laughs> I love it when they come out like this, this is perfect. 2.271, all right. So our range is between 2.271 and 2.274. So we're talking about a three millivolt range. That's awesome. Over here on the negative side, it looks like the bus bar comes down and across to get to this cell. And the positive is just coming straight off this cell here. So both the positive and negative are over on this side, but the negative jumps to the other side of the battery. On the negative post, it looks like they ran a copper bar behind here to join the two together. This flange nut here, this is a 10 millimeter, so let's take that off. I recently bought this thread checker tool so that I can take things like this, the nuts or studs, and be able to tell you what the threads are. Uh, so let's see, there we go. So at least the negative stud is an M6 by one. Over here is the positive side, let's see if it threads on also. And it does. Both positive and negative are 10 millimeter nuts and they are M6 by one. This is my minivan. It's a Toyota Sienna with a six cylinder engine. And here is my, I don't know, six or seven year old battery. I have completely neglected to do any PMCS on it. So we've got, uh, you know, lead acid. Thirteen point five volts right now. Lead acid, we're at 12.8. Baking soda on here. Okay, we're about to do the final hookup. Uh, this is actually an old piece of uh, copper that was out of the Chevy Volt that I took apart in some previous videos. And I took off this part of the terminal and yeah, I, I warped it a little bit there. So I put a 10 millimeter stainless steel bolt through here 
and have this piece of copper attached. It's not steel or aluminum, it's copper. And so we'll go ahead and put this on the post. Probably one that was straight across would have been better, but this was just on the workbench and I grabbed it. Here's the serrated flanged nut that came with it. It was actually on the negative post when I took it apart. We'll have to tighten that up. Inside here are gonna be the relays. <laughs> All right, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna tighten this up and then it's basically the exact same thing. I'll just put a nut on here and then catch back with you. Okay, this LTO battery is tightened down. You can see how much smaller it is from the original uh, footprint of the battery. Now over here, I just ran this piece of copper bar. This uh, tin copper bar was on the negative post, but it went down to those. I think that's probably a shunt there on the side uh, because there's a circuit board attached to the back side of it. I, I noticed it when I took this off, but I flipped it over and brought it up instead of down and just put it right there through that, that bolt. So hope that's not a great connection that needs to be fixed but I hope it's gonna be good enough for now just to test to see if this works. Now this is all just a test and let's go ahead and try to start the engine. Here we go. <laughs> it did it! That worked way better than I expected. I thought we were gonna struggle a little bit more at least because of my super quick makeshift little connections but that worked really well. So I'm thrilled. If you wanna buy one of these batteries, they're at batteryhookup.com. You can use my coupon code, it's David Paws. That gets you 10% off any of your orders. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Okay, we're gonna to try to start the car. Ha, 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 it did it. Elena, it just worked. It's right there. This is the little tiny LTO lightweight battery and it started a V6. <laughs> it started up so smoothly. It did. <laughs>